Mike Deutsch, Sling Birdies. I'm here at the Puttery. We've never been here before, and we're really excited. I mean, Tiger's got Pop Stroke. Uh, Rory's got the Puttery. There's other investors in it, too. And uh, we're eager to take a look, see how cool it is. It's like a golf lounge. It's not like your grandma's putt-putt or the putt-putt you had growing up. It's way, way cooler, and we're going to take a look inside. Shall we? And let's walk up to the actual bar. Walk up to the bar. Now, as a test to see if it's a true golf bar, we're gonna order a tranquilizer, which is the most popular golf drink, and see if they know how to make it, or if they're gonna say we don't do that here. Okay, ready for it? All right. How you doing, brother? Hi, can you make a tranquilizer? A tranquilizer? Just give me one moment, I'll sure. see if I can make it and I'll be right with you. Awesome. Just one moment. Sure. So we're not sure. He said he's going to see if he can make it. I think the issue is going to be the grape soda. Um, they're going to probably offer to make one without the grape soda. By the way, do you see the putters on the wall in the bar? It's something. He's now looking up the drink. <laughs> Notice this bar guy has a, has a ball in his hand. He turned pants to the left. He's, he's just juggling a ball. That guy, he has one in his hand. He's going back and forth with it. I don't know if you can see it yet. Comes back around maybe. Like we don't, don't have the, the ingredients for is, that. I'm just curious, is the missing ingredient the grape soda? Yes. And I got it right. That, that's what we wanted. That was the that was the intended result. <laughs> if anything, uh, if you like, uh, we do have our full cocktail menu. You want to? Oh sure, yeah, I'll take a look. Feel free. We have it over here. And I can see if I can find you a, a paper copy if you like. Uh, yeah. Do you have a paper copy actually? So, you know, nowadays this is pretty standard. This is how you get your menu. Um, let's look at drinks, guys. So we got a Puttery Old Fashioned, uh, which is a rye whiskey with bitters and orange oil. It's pretty typical. Got a Tasty Green. I'm trying to think, uh, they got an Augusta Sunset. That's a uh, vodka, Aperol, and lemon cordial. And they got a Rumble. Uh, you got a Puttery Ginger Beer. So there, there's a golf theme going on. Um, I think the most interesting thing on the menu is the Watermelon Aqua Fresca. I'll get the watermelon aqua fresca. Which I have deemed the most interesting thing on the menu at Puttery is the watermelon aqua fresca. And I'm now gonna give it a review in live time, which we've never done before. We usually record our reviews and then like fake it depending on the situation, but we're gonna give a live review on the watermelon aqua fresca. You guys thought I was gonna choose the Augusta sunset drink. No, not today. Today I went with flavor first, not the name. If you pan to the right, the white hair is Jay Monahan, the commissioner of the PGA Tour in the blue jacket. You see him? The commissioner himself. Here you go, bud. Thank you. Absolutely. Enjoy. Okay, so we got a little lemon lamb tango going on as a garnish. And now we're gonna give it a live review. Watermelon aqua fresca. Bueno. It's nice. Better than expected. Good stuff. Let's contend. <laughs> Continue. Um, whoa. Oh, cool.
FedEx Cup. That's right. That is cool, guys. Notice the golf ball in the middle. It's gleaming. Okay, it's, uh, I guess we're closed off here. From, that's the VIP area, so we gotta wait till that opens up again. I think that's Denny Hamlin that just walked in that just, with that FedEx jacket, this guy. 100% sure now. Sorry. There's Rory, Rory and, and Denny Hamlin just met. They're having their uh, pre uh, putt off talk. What odds would you give me if I picked Denny Hamlin for the competition? <laughs> I don't know. Are we Rory playing with a tailor made or playing with a uh, one? I think he's playing with like a, you know, one of those ones on the wall. <laughs> Well, let's take a tour while we're doing nothing. <laughs> um, what do we got here? We got a, a wall of uh, sorts. Uh, we got some Van Gogh. Starry night. Um, it's probably the walk to the bathroom, I would guess, right? Interesting art. I like it. It's cooler. Not what you'd expect. 19th hole stuff. Um, that's cool. Gary Player, Masters. Golf de la Sucre Tunis. Looks like a Tunisia golf, right? I think that's what that's depicting there, back in the day. Um, Ceci n'est pas un club de golf. This is not a golf club. Nice art there. This place has cool vibes. Um, let's keep going. As you can see, they have this set up for some sort of FedEx Cup purpose. Oh, look at this. The new Burke golf bag for 1925. This is a sick ad. 1925 model. This dude. This isn't your typical golf place thing. We got Glen Eagles Hotel in Perthshire. I mean, the decor is cool in this place. Look at this guy. You gotta, you gotta see this one. This one's funny. It's like a duke, like some landowner, and he's just holding his giant old club, trying to show off Sport of Kings, but it's cool. I dig it, I dig the hat. Um, I mean, this is an interesting gallery of golf stuff. Look at this ad. Uh, the Mall Malt Linen Company in Chicago, which he's about to like tee off for Malt Sinew. This is when they believed this stuff was medicinal, I believe, right? It wasn't just for fun. Um, we got some more Van Goghy stuff, some more history of golf. This is cool. This one right here. We got some a lot of women's golf on display. We got this old photo, and there's gonna be one to your left if you look down. And it's like you got a Kandinsky looking thing when you turn left going into the men's bathroom. Oh, check it out. We have our free foods display. I didn't even see that. We got uh, Arancini balls and beef sliders. So, guys, this is awesome. This is like the highest echelon of the PGA Tour, and we're here. Did someone make a mistake? <laughs> Maybe. We got some nice, uh, this is interesting, this is cool. This is the swing section. So, it's kind of like where you sit back, uh, 
and you look at the fire and you kind of just swing. This is, this is fantastic. You got multiple swings going on. After you play your uh, little putt-putt, your putt-putt super round, you kind of retire back here and you just relax and recap your round or go to sleep or have another cocktail on the 19th hole here. This is quite a 19th hole. The whole place is a 19th hole. And I think we'll discover when we see the actual putting area when that opens up that it's not what you expect. It's not like your indoor typical putter. This is like next level. It's kind of like Clue. You got the conservatory, you got the library. See who done it. Is that OB? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm not sure who's winning, but I think Denny is hanging in there. This could be a shocking finale. That was the library section we were looking at. We're going to see another section of pottery right about now. Typically, you don't want to touch a cactus if you're in Arizona on a golf course. But here, no problem. And I figured that'd be the case because if you went to like a place and got stabbed, that would not be good for business. But no, it's, it's plastic. We are here in the conservatory where the epic battle between Rory McIlroy and Denny Hamlin ended. Rory won. I had bet $1 million on that outcome, and so I won $1 million and $1,000. You had to bet a million to win a thousand. I was worried there for a second that the first two putts, because it looked like Denny was hanging in there, but then he had that OB shot, and sure enough, the uh, three-time FedEx Cup champion beat the NASCAR driver at a putting competition, go figure. But it was cool to watch, and they had a great time doing it, and the puttery is an awesome place. Do you know what this is? It has like red pepper inside it, and cream cheese, I think. Mike Deutsch, Sling Birdies, we came to the puttery. We saw Rory McIlroy, we saw Denny Hamlin. They played in an epic mini golf battle royale, and uh, it was epic. And I hope you enjoyed this episode because it was phenomenal for us and I hope it was phenomenal for you too. From my heart to your heart, from America to wherever you live in the world, good night.